Hi everyone and welcome back to my virtual classroom. For our Max Easy episode today, we will be learning variations. So let's get started. Direct and inverse variation. Now for this topic, we will talk about direct variation first. When we say direct variation, when we talked about direct variation, we are talking about relationship. So if we have relationships in direct variations, that means that we will have an X and a Y. We will look into the X and a Y relationship. That means if X increases, okay, this increases, our y also increases. That is a direct variation. So if x decreases, our y will also decrease. So there is always a constant rate of either an increase or de decrease. So if we write down the direct variation relationship, it will be y is directly, directly proportional to x. So in terms of equations or formula, this can be written as y equals k, which is the constant rate of increase or decrease. So y is directly varia uh, variated to x, or y is directly um, variation in terms of variation to x. So here, as y increases, x increases, or as x in decreases y also decreases so y varies so some books would also use the word varies directly as x okay directly to x so here there's another way of showing the direct variation formula you could also rearrange this formula where you have your k equal to y over x. So since k is a constant, then you can write this as y1 over x1 equals y2 over x2. Let's take this as an example. If y varies directly as x, and y is equal to 10 as x is equal to 2.4 find x when y is 15 so what x and y go together so this will be y varies directly as x so you have two ways to do this you could either first find the constant or k that will be y over x so you substitute the first given, you have 10 over 2.4, so that you will find your k. So that could be your first step. So if you have that, then you will be finding your value of k. Now the other way of solving this as well is you will have y1 over x1 equals y2 over x2 so if you do the first way so you will get the value of k by dividing 10 by 2.4 so that means that our k here is 4.17 now using this k you find x using the original formula x equals y over k substitute when y is 15 k is 4.17 therefore x would be 15 divided by 4.17 that will give you equal to 3.60 that's your x if you would like to do it using the other method you just need to substitute y1 which is 10 over x1 which is 2.4 equals 
y2 which is 15 over x2 which is unknown now you have to cross multiply when you say cross multiply you bring x sub 2 up you bring 2.4 up so this will be 10 times x sub 2 equals 15 times 2.4 After you have crossed, you will have 15 times 2.4, you'll get 36. So you have 10 times x sub 2 equals 36. And therefore, let's write it here, there's no more space. x sub 2 equals 36 divided by 10, you will get x sub 2, which is 3.6. So that means either way, you will get exactly the same value. Let's do another one. If y varies directly as x, sorry, if y varies directly with x and y is equal to 12 when x is 2, find y when x is 8. So again, you have two ways that you can do this. It's either you solve first for k, so y equals kx because y varies directly as x. Rearranging this to get k, that will be y over x. Substitute y is 12 when x is 2. So dividing 12 by 2, you will get 6. That means 6 is your k. And then going back to the original formula, you will have y equals kx. Substituting k, which is 6 divided by, uh, multiply by 8, not divide, multiply by 8. So 6 times 8, you'll get 48. Therefore, this is the value of y when x is 8. And the other way of doing it, you will have y1 over x1 equals y2 over x2. Substituting y1 is 12. When x is 2, find y 2 when x is 8. Next step, cross multiply. So you will have 12 times 8 equals y 2 times 2. Multiplying 12 by 8, you'll get 96 equals y 2 times 2. Dividing 96 by 2. 96 divided by 2, you will get 48, which is the same answer either way. The next relationship we have is what we call inverse relationship. Inverse is very similar to direct, but in an inverse relationship, as one value, let's say y, increases, x will decrease. So there is not necessarily a constant rate however with the direct variations we divide our x and y in inverse we will be multiplying it why is it multiplication because it will be y varies inversely okay so that means that's 1 over your x so in terms of formula that will be y equals k over x so rearranging this, you will have k equals yx. That is the reason why you will have multiplication. y1, x1 equals y2, x2. Let's take a few examples. If y varies inversely with x and y is 12 when x is 2, find y when x is 8. Again, I'll show you the two different ways to to do it having the same answer so the first one is you write y equals k over x second step is to find the value of k so k rearranging this formula will be y times x y is 12 when x is 2 multiplying that you'll get 24 Find y when x is 8. So using this original form, you will have y equals 
k, which is 24, divided by x, which is 8. Therefore, y, 24, divided by 8, would be 3. Using the other way of solving this, since this is multiplication of your y and x, you'll have y1, x1 equals y2, x2. 12, when x is 2, find y when x is 8. So 12 times 2 will be 24 equals y squared times 8. Therefore, y squared transferring 8 will be division. 24 divided by 8 will again be 3, which is exactly the same as the other way of doing it. Let's have another example. If y varies inversely as x and x is 18 when y is 6, find y when x is 8. Again, I'll show you the two ways to solve this. First way is solving for the constant k. Rearranging, you'll have k equals yx. Solving k, x is 18 when y is 6. 18 times 6 will be 108. That is your value of k. Find y, so you go back to the original form. y equals k is 108 divided by when x is 8. 108 divided by 8 will be 13. Using the other way of solving this, you will have y1, x1 equals y2, x2. y1 is 6, x2 is 18 equals y2 times x2, which is 8. 6 times 18 is 108 equals y2 times 8 so divide this by 8 you will get y2 equals 13.5 i hope that you have learned something from our episode for today and if you do please don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for your attendance today and as always as teacher maria would say please do live your life to the fullest learn something new every day and love one another as how our god loves us see you next episode for our maths easy series bye